Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 53. So the last episode I showed you guys how to configure your DP and MP within uh, your SCCM configuration manager manager can, uh, console. And this episode I'm going to show you how, how to configure some of your client agents. Okay, so uh, we already have our SCCM administrative console already open and we expanded the site settings and we're inside our client agents so the first one that we want to configure is the hardware inventory client so we're going to double click on that and by default it's already enabled and we want to schedule uh, we want to schedule how many how, how many days it goes by days minutes or hours of how you want the client to uh, scan for hardware and by default it's on seven days I'm gonna decrease it to 10 minutes uh, the only reason that I'm doing 10 minutes is because I don't have this SCCM machine up and running 24 7 but for you guys most likely you you can leave it for seven days as the default but for me I'm just gonna leave it uh, real small because I want this stuff to start kicking in right away press apply press ok next one on the list we're gonna do software inventory agent by default it's by seven day seven days and uh, from here I'm gonna change it as well into minutes and do 10 minutes because I want I want the stuff to run pretty fast and I'm gonna apply it and from here I want to go to click on inventory tab and right now it's the inventory collection is specified by anything that he has an exe find it Okay, so so right now what's happening is you already have a file type in with being the inventory. So the server inventory client is going to basically go inside the machine, scan the entire machine, and whatever is in AXE, pull it and grab it as information. So most likely like your Excel, WinWord.exe, your PowerPoint.exe. Um, whatever whatever you have installed on the machine it's gonna grab it okay all client hard drive so you can actually change this if you want you can actually specify a new location if you guys want now if you do all client hard drives it's gonna scan the entire C drive most likely you the specific locations like if I do was it percent sign uh, program files percent sign and backslash so what I just did is change the location rather than checking the entire C drive it's gonna go into the specific folder and look for it okay That's what I want. I want it to only go to a specific folder and look for exe files rather than go into the entire C drive. If you do the entire C drive, it's going to take forever to scan. It's it's going to it's, it's, it's that's a bottleneck on your network. Okay. Uh, reporting details. You could do file details or product details. I'm going to uncheck file details. I just want the product details for now. Okay. And. I'm not going to deal with file collection as of now, and I'm not going to do inventory name as now. I'm going to apply with this, press OK. The next one that I want to enable is advertised programs and client agent. So we're going to double click on this. Okay. In the general tab, make sure that enable software distribution of the clients is enabled, and select new program notification icon, open opens add and remove programs as per below the search so um, 
make sure this is enabled by default this stuff is enabled I'm allowed user targeted uh, advertising request and new program notification icon open to the ad so I'm gonna check that off so when I'm pushing out new programs to the to the user uh, a notification will show up in the ad and remove programs okay also a notification tab by default you get to display the message if by any chance you wanna uh, have like a sound you can check as play a sound and you will hear a sound when a new advertisement is available uh, when a schedule program is about to run provide a cut that countdown five minutes you can actually increase this or uh, decrease this increase this is up to you I'm gonna leave it as five minutes okay and I'm gonna press apply for that and the next one we're gonna configure is computer client agent now the computer client agent uh, if you're doing and if you're doing um, I think it's you gotta set up a, a network access account on this and I'm gonna set it with an account that has administrative rights to all the machines in the network okay once you do that interview poll I'm, I'm gonna leave it at 60 minutes as the default uh, state messages specify how frequently client sends consolidated state messages into the management point every 15 minutes again you can increase this if, if you see like a huge drop in your network and uh, s stuff starts slowing down most likely it's a bottleneck and your network and it's probably these these um, these settings you can always increase it but for now I'm just gonna leave it as the default uh, I'm gonna apply it I'm gonna go to the customization portion and a customization portion right here is when you're deploying your image uh, this is what you're gonna see like an MDT 2012 we were able to go into the config uh, custom settings dot INL dot INI file and uh, give our deployment a name so I'm just gonna give it BJ tech uh, deployment process software updates you can leave this as is software distribution I'm gonna leave this as is but again you can actually change all this and whatever you change is what the the end user or the client will see uh, I'm gonna leave the reminders as is you can actually change the numbers if you want the next uh, tab that I want to hit is the bits and the bits I want to do is apply to branch distribution points and all clients okay and uh, the next thing that you want to do is allow bits download outside the throttling window I'm gonna leave this I'm gonna leave these numbers as a default between uh, start time 9 and 5 you can actually change this again if you if you see anything going crazy on your network I would say change it but again this SCCM is only a lab environment I'm only testing stuff out so just leave everything as default if you see like a tremendous bottleneck on your network hey go back change the settings I'm gonna apply press OK next one that we want to do is the desired configuration management client agent and from here um, you only got minutes, hours, and days. I'm doing it minutes, and I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. Okay. Press apply. Press OK. Uh, I'm going to leave the mobile device client agent settings as they are for now. I won't change it. I won't change anything. I will leave everything as the default. Okay. Uh, remote tools client agent. From here, um, this is up to you how you want to run it. Um, user cannot change policy or notification notification settings in the remote control. You don't want the user to have any access to this, so let's disable that. Um, full control, full control, client running on Windows, leave access allowed. 
I, I would leave as full control. Now you can always change it. Now if you do a view only, that gives the user um, the right to decline your access. Okay. Uh, security. You add the group of uh, who should have access to the remote tools. So most likely you create a group. Uh, I think I have a group in my Active Directory that has all the admin users in it, but I don't recall the name of it. So let's let's open up my Active Directory again. You could create a group, and within the group, you add people into the group, and those are the individuals that will have access uh, to your um, to your users on the floor, and they can use they can use the remote tools within SCCM to control and manage the machines on the floor and I do have one BJ admins and I'm actually going to do BJ admins let's make sure that's right okay press ok cool I'm going to apply that uh, next one you want to do notification this is up to you I'm going to leave this all as default uh, it specifies default settings on all clients to indicate that a remote control session is active. I'm going to leave this as default. I do want my users to know that a remote session is being, act, um, is being initiated. Uh, remote assistance. Uh, I would manage remote assistance settings. I would configure the unsolidated remote assistance settings and I would configure solid. Yeah, I would do these two and at the level of access I will give myself full control okay and I will hit apply and that was it now network access protection client agent and if you did if you guys have an NAP set up into your infrastructure go right ahead NAP most likely you have to have a server dealing with this I haven't really created this in my environment so I won't enable that uh, software meeting it's enabled by default and it's already scheduled so that's gonna be in the later later on video software update client this is already enabled this is good to go every seven days actually I'm gonna change this I can't really change it so I leave it as is uh, so I leave all the settings as is and that's about it guys uh, this is the end of the video uh, show you basic um, configuration on the client agent side uh, most likely almost all these like your hardware software advertised computer desired configuration management client your mobile device remote tools those were already enabled by default all you had to do is just go in there and change the settings the way that you want in your environment network access protection that's disabled by default if you're not doing um, an AP in your infrastructure don't worry about it software metering and software updates those are both enabled by default again you have to go in there and configure it to your liking uh, that's about it guys hopefully I catch you guys later and please subscribe as well as leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the videos and uh, give me some feedback please subscribe and I catch you guys later thank you subscribe thank you